see the tail of the tape. We're going to see the experience wow. gap there. Kenny King, very experienced, his 16th year as a pro wrestler. Liger, of course, debuting in 1984. <laughs> Broke into the business here, came on excursion to Florida. Absolutely. He's the reason I'm in wrestling, actually. His bouts with Brian Pillman. Oh, those were incredible. 91, 92, but right now it's 2018, still going strong. Amazing. Against Kenny King, what a win this would be. Kenny King, of course, former two-time world television champion and accomplished champion. And tag team champion. In his own right. We take a look at the biggest crowd in Las Vegas history for Ring of Honor. We're so glad you're joining us. And you can join the conversation with hashtag ROHDBD already. So many folks checking in. Going to try and shout you out throughout the night. Mary Kate Anthony checking in. We had April 83 checking in as well and punishment Christina. See, high wrist lock here from Kenny King. Still filling out process. Respect from both sides. Oh, look at this. Liger special here. <laughs> Into a surfboard position. Sometimes he likes to take it up if he can. Oh, now just Listen, I think it's it too I think it's too early for that. That's a good call, Caprice. And one of the reasons you're so valuable, the most versatile man here in Ring Absolutely. of Honor. Absolutely. Great competitor, but you know Kenny King almost better than anybody. Absolutely, man. Good friend of mine. I'm very proud of him. I don't know which way he's going now. Let's see if he still has the dirt on his fingernail, if he's going to wrestle this in the good way. Well, it's interesting because he wouldn't keep doing it if that advice didn't pay off, right? I mean, he defeated guys like Skrull and, and Adam Page, two of the top stars here in Ring of Honor. Well, here's my thing, Riccoboni. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. And he's been bringing a knife to a gunfight, but now he realizes these guys that cheat and get away with it, he's going to cheat as well. So I'm, I can't say anything about that because if you're wrestling a cheater and you cheat, that's fine. But the crowd does not like that. Uh, we're seeing a great wrestler here in Liger who's going back to this head scissor once again. And Liger has been able to stay at the top of his game because he's changed his strategy over the years. Working more of a grounded style, but still effective nonetheless. The basics never change, Riccoboni. See, maybe a sign of mutual respect here between these two men. You can't help but respect somebody like Liger. He's the reason why most of us are still competing today. And to, to have the honor to wrestle somebody like him, you have to have respect for him. Well, when it was announced that New Japan would be joining us here for this pay-per-view. Kenny King asked for a special match in his hometown. He's getting it here. Off the ropes. Ooh. Shoulder block. King going nowhere. King has a good couple inches on Liger, maybe five inches. Maybe about 30 pounds. Off the ropes. Nice drop down. Ooh, shoulder tackle sends Liger down. The K I N G King. <laughs> He's the king of rocking. No one higher than Sucker MC is all call him Sire. Rick up on it. And up and over goes King. Maybe he shouldn't have spent that time showboating there, Caprice. Well, some people you can and some people you can't with, and he's one you can't with. He's been doing it 30 years for a reason. Sizing King up. Here comes Liger. Wow. <laughs> there that is. There you go. That's when you do it, though. That's when you showboat when the man is on the mat. It was on the outside, if you remember back in Baltimore, when Kenny King took on Austin Aries. Kenny King had an opportunity to end the match. He could have hit whatever move he wanted on the outside yeah. and ended Austin Aries. Instead, he chose to fight honorably, which we're seeing here with Liger. Well, I think that was the change of Kenny King because he, he could have won that match. But his heart got in the way. And since that happened, we've started seeing a different Kenny King. And we're seeing the strength and the weight advantage, the leverage advantage of King coming into play here. He dropped the vertical base, blocked the suplex, and now coming back with forearms. Shoulder to the midsection, spinning heel kick oh misses. Oh my God, how beautiful was that? Oh, Eddie Gordo kick misses. Palm strike sweeps the leg. Whew. King back in control, but the crowd seemingly behind Liger in his hometown. Oh. He's wrestling a legend, Riccoboni. Some of the crowd coming back to him. You got to wonder if this is going to get in his head, though. I mean, with all of the mental gymnastics he's had to do since Austin Aries planted that seed, is this just another hoop he has to jump through? In this match with a legend like Liger. Well, well, hold on, Liger just hurt his back here. Oh, driving him into the apron, you're absolutely right. Cover. 
Ooh, I don't know, Ian. Uh, believe it or not, man, Kenny's a very composed wrestler. He's able to think and keep himself sane uh, in a lot of situations where other people would lose it at, and that's what's got him a lot of wins. Including right here in his hometown. Defeated Kushida there last year. Go. Yeah. For the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Yeah. Silas Young to win it for the second time in February in Atlanta. Oh, going for that back again. Cover two. Firmly in control now is King. Absolutely. I think uh, King has found a target. And that back is the target. Oh, did you hear that? Just chewing out Liger. Ooh. Driving the knee into the lower vertebrae of Liger. Nice side slam on two. Well, with Kenny talking, that's almost just for Kenny because Liger, English is not even his third language. It's just more confidence building from Kenny. Ooh. And look at this, great submission. Not something we normally see out of the repertoire of a king. Perhaps he picked this up in Mexico when he was in CMLL last year. Lucha style submission there from Absolutely. King. People forget how well traveled Kenny King has become in the last couple of years. The fans not forgetting their love for Jushin Liger right now, trying to give him something extra to perhaps turn the tide of this match. Irish whip reversed. Into the corner, big back elbow, rocks Liger. Ooh, double leg takedown. Going right into, he's focusing on that back. He's made that back a target, and that's almost a smart plan. Really wrenching it in here. Perfect position, he center of the ring. Nowhere to go. Now looking for the high angle to get more leverage. Liger making it to the ropes. Barely making it. Seeing the toll that is being took on the lower back of Liger. That's what you have to do, Rick Abani. You have to find a part, you have to take it apart. Uh, and that's what uh, Kenny King has done, man. He's found that body part and he's working on it. Let's just see how much it works for him. Certainly is bringing Liger back up now to his feet. And working on that back, you take so much out of his lower center of gravity. Ooh. Every move you make affects that. Ooh. Oh, nobody home. King may be in some pain of his own now. Big boot from Liger. Double heels into the chest of King. Ducks the clothesline. Liger! Oh. Connects, Chote! And now he's trying to load him up, catch him square. Ooh, big signature rolling heel. Going for the cover, one, two. Ooh, the only reason why he wasn't able to get Kenny with that is because he didn't catch him in the jaw like he normally does. That seemed like it was right across the cheek. Yep. Jaw, one of the great pressure points. That's why that Chote's so effective. He knows exactly what he's doing in there, man. He's so precise. Front face lock, King blocks perhaps a suplex attempt. Lowering his center of gravity. Blows to the ribs there. King so strong. Keeps the arm. Has what? him up. Could it be? Royal flush. No, chin checker. Oh. Wow. Spinning kick. Sends Liger down. That's what you have to do, man. You have to do tandem moves like that. Hit him back to back when you have a chance to get somebody like Liger. Because if you give him a chance to rest, he's going to come back over and over again. And I'm impressed, Kenny King on a roll right here in Vegas. Will it be the oh! cooking or will it be Liger? Who's coming back now with open slots? Wow. Loading it up, looking for the show Tay. No Tay. No Tay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Scoops him up. Kenny King, wow, swinging backbreaker. Cover, one, two. Ooh. I like the way Kenny held on to him. A lot of times you do that backbreaker, you lose the opponent. Kenny held on to him and went straight for the pin. He's trying to win this match. Absolutely, and, and what a win it would be. And we've been talking about it for weeks now. Kenny King on the precipice of that world title conversation. When you beat guys like Marty Skrull, when you beat guys like Adam Page, when you beat guys like Jushin Liger, you should be in line for the Ring of Honor World Championship. There's no doubt he's already in the title picture. This is just something to help him get closer to it if he's able to pull this off. Up to the top, so dangerous. Wow! Oh! Well, who did this hurt? Because Liger's back is already hurt. That might not have been a smart move from Liger. And I, I don't think anybody's ever been able to say that because of the veteran that Liger is. And Liger, maybe. That, that's what I'm saying. It might have hurt him more. Oh, recover. Two. Ooh. That's how you know Liger's adrenaline is flowing because he's fighting off instinct and he's not really thinking like he should have because I don't think he should have done that. Maybe a rare mental mistake from, from Liger there. 
as the crowd very split here. They're, they're, they're split, but see, Liger's still on his back, and Liger initiated the suplex. Think about that. We take a look here. Huge crowd in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Orleans has yep. him up. Mm. Fireman's carry. Yep. Could be a chin checker. No, the Royal Flush counter. Yeah. It's that cradle. One, One two. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Liger giving King everything he's got. Up. Show tight. Off the ropes. Bulldog sends King to the ground. You know what that shows? That's a lot of respect there, because that shows that Liger has studied King. Absolutely. It means he's been watching his tapes. Absolutely. And I bet King's watched Liger as Liger going to the top. Got oh. him! Beautiful cover! Two! Ooh! Wow. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ian, that was really close. Two and seven eights. And Todd Sinclair now checking in on Jushin Liger. Yep, he's hurt, man. He's hurt. And I think he inflicted more pain on himself with that superplex. Now, now I'm going to be the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. Kenny King has now identified the weak point of Jushin Liger. Yeah. It's definitely a target, it, and he's definitely going after that target. Uh, but this might be a pinnacle point of the match because I don't. I think Liger's hurt. He might have slipped the disc or something. We've seen Kenny waver on this before. This is usually the crossroads. Well, this is usually the, the point. Well, this is when Kenny Hart sometimes gets in the way because of respect, the same respect that he had for Aries. Well, and, and there you see again, taking that moment. And this is the Kenny King I know. This is the father. Yeah. This is the guy we see on The Bachelorette. Yep. This is. Well, you give respect where respect's given, man. Yeah. It is, it's, he's a good guy. You want to beat somebody that's wrestling. You don't want to beat somebody that's injured. Yeah, there you go. That's. Trying to get like he wants to beat a legend. He yep. wants to make sure he can continue. You know, and if he can't continue, I'm sure on Ring of Honor television, Jushin Liger is here. It's a special attraction, yep. but we can make this match happen. Maybe we can send Kenny to New Japan. Yep. I, How old is Liger? He's like 53 years old. Liger trying to get back to his feet, King. Good stuff. Yeah. Much respect. That's what I like to see. What? What the? Whoa! Whoa! Spine Buster! One, two! Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! 